guys, it's your girl Ro, and welcome back to another Uncensored Eats cooking video tutorial. Today, I'm going to be making something a little bit different to change it up a bit. And yeah, so before we get into this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tag a friend to tag a friend and hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. So let's get into making this dish. What I am making today is something completely out of the ordinary. And something I like to call, you know, you have rice crispies, you have tacos. So I figured why not mix it up a bit and, you know, kind of bring the two together and make rice crispy treats tacos. Or let me rephrase that, rice crispy treats ice cream tacos. That's better. That is what I am making today. So for those of you who have not seen my Rice Crips Sea Treats video as of yet, I will be putting that in the description box down below so you can see how I made my Fruity Bites Rice Crispy Treats using the Stop and Shop brand. So um, let me show you guys what I have here in front of me so you can see. And I'll show you the ice cream that I have and I'll give the information in the description box and I will be saying it out verbally so you can, so you can hear. And I'll tell you guys where I got my ice cream from. So these are my Rice crispy Treats. Well, my Fruity Bites Rice crispy Treats. So you know how you have Fruity Pebbles? Stop and Shop has Fruity Bites. And, that's, and that is what I used to make this dish. I love Stop and Shop brand. My husband and I have been using Stop and Shop brand for years. Their brand is very, very good. If you try the marshmallows on its own in the Stop and Shop brand, it is not too sweet. It is not like the conventional ones. And if you try the Fruity Bites, um from the Stop and Shop brand, it is the same. It is not too sweet and it is, you know, it is good to go. So um, these right here, these treats are great for kids. They are great for adults. They are great pastime for any and every event. So this is the ice cream I got from a place in Vernon called Dairy Swirl. They make homemade ice creams. And it is delicious. My husband and I have been going there for quite some time since we moved up to the area. And we have been going there, not every day, but whenever we feel for ice cream, we've been going there. And today I wanted to do something, you know, a little different, a little unconventional with the ice cream. So we went with the cotton candy ice cream versus vanilla, which is boring, versus coffee, which is also boring because I can't have coffee because of the caffeine. So we went the cotton candy route. So let me come a little bit closer so you guys can see what I have here. So this is the ice cream that I have that I bought from Dairy Swirl. It is really delicious. This is the cotton candy. And let me open it a little bit so you can see what it <gasps> looks like. Oh my God, that looks really good. So let's get into making these Rice Scripsies ice cream tacos. This is going to be so great. And again, if you have not seen my video on how to make my Rice crispy treats, please do not forget to check the link in my description box down below. So, follow me. All right, guys, so let's get into making these uh, ice cream tacos. Tools you'll need. You'll need a rolling pin or a small bottle, if you have, and you are going to need a ice cream scoop, your ice cream, your sprinkles, and extra Fruity Bites if you have. You can use Stop and Shop brand to make this dish, or you can use Fruity Pebbles. It is up to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my Fruity Bites and I'm going to smush it a bit with my fingers. And then we're going to use or a little rolling pin to roll the Fruity Bites. So you want to form your Rice Krispies into a taco. And that is what you are looking for. Well, in a taco shell more. So I'm just going to use my rolling pin to shape. Wow, that looks really good. So there you have it. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to move this off to the side. And I'm going to do the same for all my Fruity Bites. Okay. 
and you're going to use it to shape, remove, and voila. And this is coming apart. Let me shape him back together. And I'll just put this upside down for now until I'm ready for it. There you have it. There it is. I think I'm going to do about six of these. Voila, there you have it. These are our taco shells. This is what our shell looks like, and they look really, really good. So what we're going to do is we're going to plate up our shells, and we are going to put them upside down. That way they do not lose their shape, and they're still intact. And we're going to put these in a the refrigerator to refrigerate for about 15 minutes until they're completely hardened. And we will come back and we'll start making our Rice Krispie Treat Ice Cream Tacos. I'll see you in a bit, guys. All right, guys, it's been about 15 minutes, and our taco shells are looking really great. So I had these upside down, like so, and once they were good to go, I turned them over, and I kind of put it back into a little shape. Voila, this is it. So we're going to be working our way into making our Rice Krispie Treats tacos, and yeah, so let's get to going. All right, you're going to need your ice cream of your choice. We chose cotton candy because not only was it delicious, but we needed a little bit of color into our dish. So we're going to take our ice, our ice cream and we're going to put our ice cream into the Rice Krispie Treats. And I'll move that over a little bit. Oh, uh, this is really good. This is like soft surf ice cream. It's definitely soft. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to add my... Oh my God, that looks so good. Look at this. And a little sprinkles. Wow, this looks so delicious. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, that looks so good. So these are my Rice crispy Ice Cream Tacos. Look at these. This is amazing. Look at these ice cream tacos. Guys, I hope you try this recipe. I hope you guys make this. This is a great pastime for your kids. It's great for adults as well. So yeah, there you have it. Again, it's your girl, Rob from Sense of Ease. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tag a friend to tag a friend. Hit the notification bell down below to get me notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for always being here. Thank you for the love and support. I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.